Libra, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony, with another channel tarot card message for you today. I was almost getting OU vibes for a minute. Oh man, we got two mosquitoes. Yo, <laughs> thing one and thing two. Y'all just gonna uh, eat me like that? <laughs> but yeah, that was interesting. I just saw my cousin's boyfriend out at the park. He's picking nonis from the noni tree. So just like a leader, right? Just like uh, the uh, adventurers, right? They have to journey off into the forest with the machete to blaze the path, right? Now, we actually have a noni tree in our yard, right? So we came out here to pick some, right? We all feeling a little something here in our throat. You know, I can't have my, my throat chakra messed up. But yeah, something in the atmosphere. It's been raining for four or five days straight. So people are getting sick, all that sort of thing. Ironically for me, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Every time I get sick or I get a sore throat, it always my voice always gets deeper and it comes back more stronger. So let's get into it for you here today, Libra. My sun sign as well. So let's get into it. I'm looking forward to the messages. Maybe it'll resonate for me as well. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. And don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus North Node placements. We're using the Golden Universal Tarot to pull in some messages from Spirit for you today. So let's get into it. What does Spirit has to say? Yeah, it's even like drizzling right now. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> like I can literally feel the raindrops falling on me through the tree. Yeah, man. Florida is a peninsula. It's surrounded by um, water. So yeah, it's not like a desert region. There's always rain. There's always gusts of wind. I mean... I just never got a chance to see snow. <laughs> so we have the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Very loving, very nurturing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting soup. So we could have a cook here. Possibly a comedian as well. Singer, songwriter, dancer, of course. Okay, I'm getting choreography. Maybe a DJ, right? My cousin's boyfriend is a DJ. Yeah. Other messages. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Your health is your wealth and vice versa. Could be new abundance coming towards you, new um, new job, maybe entrepreneurship. We have Nine of Cups, contentment and wish fulfillment here. Being very settled, very content. Uh, maybe someone's adding value to themselves. We have six of, which would be, like I said, um, taking care of your health, right? That sort of thing. We have the Six of Swords, moving away from toxicity clarity is what i'm getting yeah the queen of swords could have had some sort of a second opinion or did some sort of a knowledge or research here in regards to opening up a business or maintaining proper health mm -hmm. this could be someone around you here as well that has accurate assessment possibly a teacher uh, queen of swords is libra energy mm -hmm. death showing up here mm -hmm. mm. what do we want to say about death why is death showing up now, that is magics, right? It could be a literal death, but it could be toxicity, right? Sickness, disease. Right? So someone's trying to avoid that. They could be researching disease. Okay, so someone's self-diagnosing themselves, right? WebMD, okay. <laughs> Looking through that cell phone or that laptop, are we? <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. Yeah, uh, ooh, justice showing up. But I was going to say through the whole entire pandemic, while people were drinking on Hennessy and whatever other alcohol they can get themselves into, man, like I was drinking screwdrivers the whole entire time. I had an abundance of orange juice. I mean, like every other day or every few days, I was going to get a gallon of orange juice and just drinking regular standard vodka. Now, almost 10 years ago, I learned uh, from a traditionalist uh, who was an islander who loved to drink alcohol as well. He used to use a V8 splash, you know, that vegetable juice. He used that as his chaser, right? So whenever you can get your vegetables in, you get them in. And um, I thought I was weird doing stuff like that before I met him, but that was only a confirmation, right? Putting fruits, like when I drink, even when I make screwdrivers, I put chunks of pineapples. I put all types of fruits and, and, stuff, and stuff like that into my drink. So although I, although I know and I was diagnosed with um, liver disease uh, right before my 18th birthday, although I never had a drink of alcohol, right? YOLO, you only live twice, right? So now I have the av ability and the advantage and the, yeah, I, I have the, uh, I have, okay, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I have the chance to take advantage of these things, right? 
because the thing was I'll never be able to get my own car I'll never know how to drive right I'll never be able to experience uh, being with a woman and all these sorts of things but getting a second chance almost dying young not being able to do those things right what's holding me back now you just have to be right discerning and you have to be responsible about it right people are out drinking and smoking while driving and all that sort of thing no leave me alone i want to be in my house after a hard day's work after a nice shower sitting on my favorite sofa watching my favorite tv show and partaking with myself not turning up in the club and going crazy with other people right i don't even drink brown liquor <laughs> i like tequila <laughs> and vodka <laughs> Let's get into it, man. We had justice showing up, right? So righting wrongs or bringing some sort of an accurate balance or assessment to a situation. Peace, right? It's definitely a business opening up for someone. Mm -hmm. Possibly uh, content creation, right? We have four of cups showing up on top of the nine of cups. <laughs> that would be what? A 13? Damn. We can't even reduce that down to what a three? But yeah, someone's coming towards you with an offer, possibly. Again, this could be, yeah, this could be detoxing an accurate, an accurate assessment, right? You don't take things from people that you don't know where what they did it, right? In regards to smoking, uh, you don't smoke something that someone brings to you, right? You smoke your own stuff. <laughs> Why am I talking about this in uh, friggin' Libra's reading today? I guess Libra's know me, right? If you're a part of my soul tribe or you're here, obviously. Um, again, you like the way I talk or you like my life experiences, right? We're going through the same transformational stages. Maybe someone has a drinking problem or someone has a drug problem here. I never, I was never into drug prescriptions and that sort of thing. I don't know why, how people do it, right? They find themselves in these financially destitute situations and they take a bottle of Tylenol and they crush it down. Ugh. I literally had a girl that wanted to date me so bad, but her parents did not approve. Uh, well, her father, right? Her stepfather, who was not even her genetic her genetic father, like, but her mother, who was a Libra, who recently died maybe a couple years back. And this girl was a Scorpio. Uh, so yeah, toxic love here. Um, but yeah, got the go ahead from her mother, but her father didn't like me and she ended up uh, taking a whole bottle of Tylenol and collapsing on the bathroom floor right she had to have her stomach pumped right this is parents especially people that are not even our blood relatives how they influence us or how they uh, make us feel guilty about the things that you want that you want to take part in true love right not from someone that's nefarious right read my personality right <laughs> she would have probably been very financially well off today very emotionally well off today and not a single mother of two that doesn't know what she's doing with because i keep track of these people right let's see for exactly reinvesting in oneself being grounded being stable right six of swords not having to go through the mental hardships right being able to travel right being able to travel into investing in yourself or reinvesting in yourself or standing on something firm or very grounded here two remaining cards here nine of swords mental toxicity fear this could be sleeplessness or some sort of an anxiety here. Hopefully, I didn't overwhelm you guys with my memory, my many of storytellings, but it actually was divine timing, right? It was just the same amount of time as any other reading that I did today. So you may need a second opinion, some sort of a clarity, uh, psychologist, psychiatrist. Uh, stop using social media as therapy or a way to vent, right? That shit's there forever, right? Exactly. This is the truth, right? write your thoughts down we had journaling back in the days right diaries right mm -hmm. now what i'm getting here is you keep putting all your information out on social media like that uh what do they call it what was that surgery that they used to do to people a uh, lo lobotomy where they stick the needle through their head right you keep doing stuff like that and people are gonna think you crazy they're gonna lock you away in a mental society or in a mental institution right stop using social media as therapy stop getting on social media and spewing hate right major arcanas we got death and we got justice so hey fate <laughs> it ain't nothing to play with man karma ain't nothing to play with right you need to do things today intentionally uh 
so that you can project or build some sort of a character or integrity or foundation for yourself for how you want to live in the future, right? You have to sacrifice death. You have to sacrifice today so that you can live justice, right? Luxury, Venusian qualities, how people won't be able to live in the future, right? Have some sort of a boundaries, right? We actually have Libra coming up twice. So you could know what air sign or have an air sign around you or you are this air sign, Libra. You're probably the most enlightened person in your group of people, in your group, uh, in a group of people around you. All right. We have four and four. Yeah, you are the grounding here. You are the stability. Fourth pinnacles, fourth cups. All right. One gathering. 99 with a six. So six, 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 nine, nine, nine. You bring karmic closure to situations or you, again, as Libra, the mirror. Right. You either teach people or you hold that mirror up to people to show them, show them who they are. Maybe the clam shaped mirrors that women used to carry around in the 90s to tidy up their makeup. Right. That comes from magic, occultism, witches, right? Mirror, mirror on the wall, but yet they carry it around to view how they how they look, right? A new idea to make money, or this could be some sort of an online course here. Mm -hmm. But this is finances coming in here, some sort of a windfall, possibly a new job. This is a new thought form or a new state of mind, right? Clarity. They're both ones, a portal, a doorway. We have 1111 showing up here. Someone could be going through a spiritual awakening or there could be a very important relationship coming towards you. A nurturer, a teacher here, or a lover. Mm -hmm. A hermit. Could be a Virgo. Uh, which Libras are actually Virgos um, in Vedic astrology, right? Everything we know here in Western culture was, um, uh, what do you call it, appropriated, right? If everything originated in Africa, right, or on Pangaea, which is on the eastern part of the world, right? But like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one, Libra. <laughs> You're welcome for the storytelling. Peace. <laughs>